When anyone asks me for help on fitness, the first thing I ask them is, what are your fitness goals? It's very important here that you know what you want. Then the next thing I ask them is, what have you done in the past to try to get there? And if their fitness goal is to build muscle, a lot of times they might say that they try to lift like four days a week or they try to lift heavy and I say that's great but let's try to look at some more specific factors here so like how many sets reps weight what's the tempo for um, each of your reps so how many seconds do you spend going up how many seconds do you spend going down do you hold it anywhere in the rep and then how much time do you spend resting between sets? And then it's important to know how many times do you train each muscle a week and how many sets do you do per muscle group per week? It's also gonna be important to know how hard are you pushing yourself mentally? So how many reps do you think you have left in the tank? RPE and RIR would be a whole separate video. You can click the top right corner and get a whole separate video on intensity variables, but it's important to have some sort of idea on how hard you're pushing yourself. The next thing that would be important to know is your form. A lot of times people ask how much can you bench, but they don't ask how do you bench. Explaining proper form on every exercise would be many separate videos, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on those videos. Now I know this seems very overwhelming and a lot of things to keep track of, a lot of pencil, paper, and notebooks and all that stuff, but you can simply keep track of all these things if you just simply record your workouts. So just record each of the sets. So how many videos of that exercise you did, that's how many sets you did. You can watch the video to find out how many reps you did to see how much weight you did to um, see how many seconds did you spend going down and how many seconds you spend going up. And if you don't delete the videos at the end of the week, you can see how many videos you have of you doing that exercise for the week. So if you're looking to build muscle mass, you haven't seen the results you were looking for, and you just want to make one change, the one thing I would tell you to do is record your form. That'll help you get on track on learning how to keep track of all these other variables in your training. Now, if your goal is to run a 5K or hit a certain time on a 5K, some um, specific things you could keep track of is your total weekly mileage, the pace you're doing each of your runs at, your running form, your stride length, your stride frequency at a specific pace. If you do intervals, it's gonna be very important that you track how much you rest between sets and how you rest between sets. And if you can track your VO2 max and what VO2 max you're running at for what pace to really help track your running economy. Obviously, I know most of you watching this video won't be able to do that, but it's just something to think about. So maybe your goal isn't to build muscle or maybe you don't have a certain running goal, but the point of this video is to learn how to track more specific things. So if you aren't seeing the results you were looking for, remember and track what you have done in the past to try to get there so you can learn what is working and what's not working. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button. I hope this helps and best of luck to each and every one of you at achieving your fitness goals.